s a m e r a n Desrida, aka Fan 老师 your excellent coach and Chinese teacher. After working with Mandarin learners for almost 12 years now, I've heard all sorts of mispronunciations, especially for some of the most used words. Tai Ru la, Tai Ru la. Ni xiang xue xi, hai xi xiu xi. We may not talk about economics or politics every day, but there are hundreds of other words that we do use all the time that you definitely want to say correctly. And all of the words I'll be talking about in this video are level one word according to the new Chinese proficiency grading standards. I actually cover at least 500 of these most used words in my pronunciation course. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any mental learning tips that you won't find anywhere else. 订阅了吗 Let's go. 热热 Let's start with the letter R. It's tricky in all sorts of languages, and Chinese is no exception. There are a few key differences. Number one, tongue position. To say R in English, the tongue is curled back, but in Chinese. The tip of the tongue is just raised up. Number two, lip shape. We round our lips in English like really, red, really, red. But in Chinese, we don't. They are more relaxed. R, 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 r. The u、呃、in r is definitely a weird sound that requires its own mouth movement following the r.、呃 If you don't move your tongue or teeth, you will say "ru" instead, which is a different syllable entirely that has its own meaning. So, is it sun or is it hot? Plus, if you slip up and say "ru" in places like Sichuan and Chongqing, you are actually saying "fuck." Oops. However, learning how to pronounce "ru" has us ready for the conversations of three other Chinese sounds. "Ru." 吃，吃，出租车。First up, 车 All that work with 热 and the 呃 sound it has will help us say 车，车 Of course, if you make the same mistakes we mentioned before, saying 吃 instead of 车 you change the words again. 吃，车 Are we saying eating or is it a car? Then there's the whole word. 出租车，出租车 ，taxi. This word has a few different sounds that each has a different composition. The sounds z c s are different from z ch sh in standard Mandarin. The z c s sounds are flat tongue sounds. Z c s. On the other hand, the z ch sh sounds are curled tongue sounds. Z ch. Shi. For English speakers, watch how far you curl your tongue. Some people curl their tongues way too far back. Instead, you just want to raise the tip of the tongue, like this. However, pronouncing zhi chi shi the same way as zi 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 isn't necessarily wrong. In fact, its original accent feature in Wu, Yue, Mian, or southeastern parts of China, and even in northeastern Mandarin areas. If we want to learn standard Mandarin, we'll need to differentiate between these two groups. I talk all about these sounds in another video. You can check it out here. One last note on 出租车 For this word specifically, 出 and 租 have the same vowel, but the starting sounds are different. 出租 And to finish the word, we have 车车 And as we mentioned, there's a movement for the ending vowel. 呃车 Number three, if you want to challenge yourself more, I have another transportation term for you. 自行车，自行车。In fact, let's level up and add the verb to. 骑自行车，骑自行车。Not only do we have the z and ch, but also c and q. So X and Q, along with J, can be real problem causers for native English speakers. So the reason 骑自行车 is so tricky is because it has all three consonant groups, each with their own tongue positions. 骑自行车 
your tongue has to be a gymnastics pro. There are other super useful words that we say all the time, like 睡觉, 睡觉, and 上下, 上下, that requires you to pay attention to the consonants. People may take some effort to figure out you are saying sleep if not soup dumpling. But late morning, 上午, and afternoon, 下午, and even last week, 上周, and next week, 下周, can make a whole difference for real. And for the next word, there's something else we should be careful about. 出去, 出去. We've already covered the difference between 吃 and 吃, so let's look closer at the vowel U. In pinyin, this word is C-H-U-Q-U. It can easily be pronounced as chu chu, chu chu, because they seem to both use u. And here comes the train, chu chu, chu chu, chu chu. I'm not sure if your teacher ever taught you this. Hopefully they have. But let me tell you a trick that will help you avoid these sorts of pinyin problems. So J Q X can only go with the u with the two dot sounds, yu sound, because they share similar tongue position. So, yu, ju, yu, chu, and yu, shu. And yu, or the wu sound, just doesn't work with these consonants. Go ahead and try it yourself. Yu, ju, ju, chu. So in 出去, 出 has the wu sound, but 去 is actually 去, 去, 出去. These kinds of issues are all over the pinyin system, so it's important to remember that pinyin is just a written system. It's not going to be able to reflect every sound perfectly. Plus, a lot of teachers won't know to teach you this because Chinese natives don't learn the language with pinyin. Luckily, I've been able to work with foreign actors in China, which got me to focus on Chinese pronunciation training over the past four years. Now you have this pronunciation course where you can learn how the Chinese sound system really works and find your own Mandarin voice. Next up, 学习, 学习. In 学, we see the X, so we know that the U is actually Yu. But even though we know it has the Yu sound, you might still say 学, 学, using the English A sound. If English natives read these letters as they would in their own language, the E comes out wrong. Now wait, didn't we just learn the L sound in 车 and 热? Surprise! There's another way to say the E in Chinese. In words like 学, 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 the E is a lot more relaxed. 学, 学. It's the same in words that have the E sound, like 一些, 些, 也, 也, 也. For compound vowels like 约 and 耶, there is a subtle movement happening in the mouth. You are opening up your mouth and your tongue naturally lowers down a bit. 学, 些, 学, 些. Just last week, I was teaching a class the structure 越来越, more and more. One of my students started learning Chinese like 12 years ago, and yet he still found this 越 so difficult to say correctly in sentences. He told me Chinese pronunciation could be really difficult, but is it really? It's usually just that A. You don't understand how sounds are made by native speakers, and B. You haven't spent enough time forming proper speaking habits, so every time you pronounce a word, you stop to think about it and find the right sound. But if you know how it works and you spend time developing your muscle memory, pronunciation becomes natural. At the end of the day, Mandarin Chinese is just another language among thousands of others all around the world. And proper pronunciation has just long been ignored by teachers, YouTubers, and learners. But not on my watch. Let's get to the next point. 休息, 
，休息，学习，休息，学习，休息。These two get mixed up sometimes for some reason. I'm not sure if it's because there's a u in each, unlike the u in 学 which is actually the u sound. The u in 修 is actually o. 修修修休息 and 学习休息学习 Actually, the O isn't too tricky, but wo sure can be. And this brings us to the next word, number nine, duo, duo. Talk about word you use all the time, especially in questions. 多少，多少钱，多长时间 Here, duo is often confused with dou. I'm curious what causes this problem. Does this happens when you aren't reading the pinyin carefully enough? Is it just the sounds themselves? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And following, the, we have the wo sound. Wo, wo. When you say this, focus on du first, and then add the o sound. Du, du, du. That way, the u doesn't get lost. On the other hand, do is a lot simpler. Do, do. Similarly, we have to sit, 坐坐 and to walk, 走走 So we could say, 咱们坐吧，咱们坐吧 or 咱们走吧，咱们走吧 Of course, getting your pronunciation wrong can also lead you to write the wrong things too. In one of my students' essays, I saw this in action. Instead of writing 如果 if 如果 they wrote 如果如果 the hollow between breasts. Yeah, very different meaning. And nowadays, Chinese people type a lot more than we handwrite, which means you really need to know your pronunciation. By the way, be careful with 多少 and 多小 Do you wanna ask how many or how much, or do you wanna ask how small? 多少，多少。With the right pronunciation, you can express yourself more clearly. Now, every native speaker will want to spend time figuring out what you are trying to say. I speak from experience as a non-native English speaker living in the U.S. And knowing pronunciation is also helpful for your listening. Not only will you be able to pronounce words clearly, but you will also hear them clearly. When this video reaches 1,000 likes, I'll make another one talking about the 10 most mispronounced Chinese words that are messed up by tone mistakes. So if you learned something from this video, please hit like and leave a comment below. And remember, with Fan 老师 Chinese makes perfect sense. See you in the next video.